Apes, I thought we had an intelligent conversation about whether we are going to be called apes or we are going to rise above being a bunch of shit-slinging, butt-picking, fucking stupid apes who are strong as fuck, but are stu super fucking dumb. I thought we were going to rise above that, but here we are again because I saw Lou posted a community post titled Lou, what the fuck was the title? Lou whatever versus the dumb fat father. And just predictably as a bunch of dumb apes would do, they didn't fucking read the post. They didn't click on the image to enlarge it and read it and analyze it and conclude their own fucking assumption and analysis of it. They just got baited. So I'm not going to necessarily blame Lou for this. Was it clickbait? Was he taking advantage of knowing that most people won't actually read shit or not? I'm not going to I'm not going to make that claim. But I think it proves the point. He posted it and the results speak for themselves because the comments once again put me in a position of being in fuck embarrassed to be a part of this community and to be lumped in with the apes and to be huddling with people like this because we are at battle we are at war and i want motherfucking soldiers next to me i want fucking seals next to me i don't want a bunch of fucking dummies a bunch of fucking untrained idiots who have no idea have never held a gun in their life going into battle with me but like i said once again in the comments of loose post it worries me it really does and i and i mean this sincerely it worries me that these kinds of people are the ones going into battle with us these kinds of people this is bigger than just this stock squeeze potential these are people that fucking vote and procreate in this fucking country we don't need any more dumb motherfuckers in this country. America already has a very low educated rate compared to the rest of the world. We don't need, we don't need any more dumb motherfuckers in this country. So what am I talking about? Lou posts this fucking post. Like I said, it, I can't remember the exact title. Lou, whatever he said, Lou versus the fat dumb father, which I think is fucking hilarious, by the way, because fuck Richie. Richie, if you're watching this, fuck you. You are a big fat slob. <laughs> you will not be referred to as the ape father on the channel or out of my mouth. That's the only censor censorship I will do. But anyways... What the post actually was and where people got fucking just fucking click fucking baited right into the post is everybody assumed without reading that this is the lawsuit. This is the pending lawsuit against Lou versus Richie Lavoy. Nobody fucking read it. Nobody except me and a few other people because I actually fucking read. I actually do my fucking DD. I actually look into shit before I make an opinion or form an opinion. So I read it, um, and all the comments are just fucking lighting up. They're just going off. Oh, here it is. It's the fucking lawsuit. Here it is. Lou filed the lawsuit. It's the lawsuit. It's the lawsuit. Open your fucking eyes, people. Actually fucking read what he posted. What he posted was a, a testimony of Gary Gensler to the Senate dated September 14th, 2021. What Lou was actually saying is, Hey, fat father, you dumb fuck, you big fat fuck. I was right back in September when I, when I was saying this shit was happening and you said I was an idiot. I was right. And here's the fucking proof. But what you fucks did is you didn't read it. You didn't even fucking open it. You just commented. You went to the comment section right away. And you said, here's the lawsuit. Here's the lawsuit. Here's the lawsuit. And guys, this... I know I'm being hard on you right now. I know I am. But this is what worries me about hodling with you. With people like you. 
if you're this dumb and this naive, I guess dumb maybe isn't the right word. Maybe naive is the better term. If you're this naive and this easily manipulated to see a post and to see a headline, to see clickbait and to just click it without actually reading it, which is what the mainstream media has been doing to us for fucking decades, by the way. They put, you know, if it bleeds, it reads. Or if it bleeds, it leads. So that's the saying in the media. They've been doing it for fucking decades. They put out a headline. Nobody actually reads the article. They just fucking read the headline. They get fucking <laughs> clickbaited into it. And they form their opinion based on the headline. That's exactly what happened here. If that is how easy it is to happen to you, to us, as a community, as fucking people who are, who are huddling this together as one, as a community as a movement, it really fucking worries me. Am I, am I okay to say that? Am I right in saying that? That I'm worried? That we can actually pull this fucking off? We can actually fucking win? Because of some of these idiots? Now I know, I get, here's a fair, so here's a fair statement. I know the small majority doesn't make up, or so, sorry, the small minority doesn't make up the majority. I know in this community, there are some really dumb fucking people. Um, and they don't represent all of us. People like Richie are a perfect example. Him and his fucking... <laughs> his antics don't represent all of us. Because I know there's a lot of smart motherfuckers in this movement and in this community. But what is the percentage? Maybe we need to have a share count <laughs> within our own community of how many dumb fucks there are to smart fucks and see what that share count looks like. See what that proportion looks like. Because I'm not going to lie. I'm a little worried. And seeing stuff like this does worry me a little bit. Whether we can actually pull this off or not. Whether we have the fucking balls, the fucking cojones pull this off as always time will tell we'll see peace